What's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. So, I got the list updates you see on screen, and guess what? No more watermark from XSplit. It has been fixed. I am super happy about that. So, all the new features and everything are on here. I just got to figure it all out now. So, let's talk about the 10,000 Club. We actually have three members now in a 20,000 club. That'd be the Soto Tops update, Akuna Tops update, and the Prism's Eye on Rookie card. All over 20,000 in the pop level for PSA 10. Crazy. Uh, some of the things that caught my eye. Let's talk 2020 Tops Chrome Luis Robert. 2,138 new PSA 10s last month. Wow, could I just see supply and demand onto that? Just it just insane when you look at it. look at the 2020 tops, Luis Roberts, over 900, over a thousand new tops, Jordan Alvarez rookie cards, over a thousand Kyle Lewis uh, tops rookies. Mm, Bo Bichette, 806. You can see. Where everybody started pushing all that stuff at once in, and you could kind of figure out where they're at on a lot of stuff. I mean, we got a lot of 2020 top stuff being graded. If you look at the bottom, uh, the Glaber pinstripe next month will be over 10,000. Akuna tops chrome rookie, it's getting there, it's getting there. Uh, just really insane. I really figured there'd been more Wander Francos, but only 213 more. But some craziness on there. So I just want to bring something to perspective. The 89 Tops Traded Griffey, over 76,000 have been graded. Let's take that in consideration to 2020 Tops Luis Robert. Over 34,000 have been graded. That's half of what the 89 Tops Traded Griffey was. We know how that was produced crazily. How many do you think they produced of uh, Luis Robert's 2020 Tops? I'm sure there's a lot more out there yet. I could just see that only ra rising up even more. I mean, it is under a 50% gem rate, but I'm just curious how high that's going to go. It's just really crazy when you start looking at this stuff and put it into perspective. I mean, me, I would rather own an 89 Tops Traded Griffey PSA 10 because it's 16.7% gem rate. You know, yeah, it's some high numbers, still over 12,000. But I would rather have something like that than, you know, a Zion Prism Rookie. And wow, who knows what's going to happen with Zion. I started looking at some other stuff up, but it's still low in pops. I mean, like somewhere under five and 6,000. Nothing really to start adding to keep track of. If you guys have noticed anything, just comment and I'll add to the list. That way we keep a good track on all this stuff. I mean, it's it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And just shows how much people have graded this stuff. And as we're getting these large supplies back, that means the prices are going to decrease. I can only say that's the only thing I can think of. I mean, other than like the example of Zion, because he's been out, everybody says, you know, he's done all this stuff. Who knows what the future holds for him. But right now this stuff's low and cheap. Would I buy it? No. Would I buy an auto of him? Possibly if it was really cheap and I had a strong feeling, but I wouldn't touch any of this other stuff. Probably the only two cards on this that I would personally buy might be a Tiger Woods and the Griffey Tops trade. And the rest of the stuff being so new and so polluted, I probably wouldn't even touch. I know a lot of people bring this to shows. I see this stuff at shows. Once they release bulk this summer can you imagine herbert burrow tua hurts all those guys then we're gonna hit lonzo ball or lonzo lamello balls anthony edwards probably cunningham mobley you name it going across the board and i have to try to look at otani stuff i looked at like the i think it was tops update or tops chrome or something like that it was still low pop i mean not real low but a few thousand nothing real you know close like over eight thousand yet so, again, if you guys know anything, just hit it in the comment section. As always, use this stuff to your advantage as knowledge, just so you can have a bigger, um, you know, aspect of where this stuff's going. And if you're at shows and stuff like that, that this is why this stuff just don't move. And it, if it is moving, I 
don't know what people's idea is to hold it. And hopefully we're going to, you know, double the size of the collectors in five to 10 years. And this will be more worth more because people will be driving it up. I have no idea. But for me, I'm staying far, far away from this stuff. I don't think I actually have any. Well, I have some 89 Tops trade Griffies here that are raw. But when I look this over, I don't think I have any of this stuff in grading. I, I don't think so. So I, I gave myself a kudos for today. I even went out and got myself. I'll show you guys here real quick. That's chicken filet. I don't usually eat a whole lot of fast food anymore. If I do, it's something like Chick fil A just because it's a, I don't know, kind of like a treat in a way. But other than that, guys, have a good rest of the week. Don't forget, live Friday night with Joey on Overtime. I'm pretty sure Joey's coming on. And then one thing I want to throw out there with you guys I know we don't have like a huge wrestling following, at least to my knowledge. If I started bringing on some of the older wrestlers, maybe for an overtime eventually, would that be something you guys would want to see? And, I mean, I could probably get some of the uh, female uh, wrestlers too. I just got to see who all I could still get in contact with or I have contacts with to try to work it up. But if they came on for, you know, like 30 minutes, maybe we could talk a little bit of cards because most of them had to do autographs or something on it. Maybe hear some crazy stories and stuff like that. But I just want to see if that's something that maybe we could do. Maybe try to hit it up once a quarter or something like that. Um, I was trying to get Brandon Crawford to uh, come on to an overtime, but that's a no-go offhand. Um, trying to think here. Just a lot of my connections have gone far, far away. And it's going to be hard to try and link into. But I want to see if that would be something you guys would be interested in. Having somebody, whether it's a wrestler, maybe uh, some minor league stars or former professional players, either hockey, football, basketball, baseball, come on for maybe 30 minutes or so. And they just talk. And I'll try to do it with its live so you guys can interact and stuff like that. Just an idea. Throwing it out there. You guys let me know. Other than that, guys, have a good rest of the week. Catch you all next video.